and hopefully um, you can see this and you can see if you do you can see to return your computer um, to get control G but um, there's another way that you can do it too you can either minimize it or um, we'll bring it back up here and back to this state okay so let's go ahead and we're going to update the tools and hopefully this won't take too long so I'm sure this video is approaching the uh, YouTube 10 minute um, so I think what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video here and um, as soon as these tools are, are through downloading uh, I'll come back to you okay so welcome back all the updates are finished I'm going to go ahead and hit close Just installing our uh, tools here I'll check the video um, before I post this I'm not real sure whether it did capture the full screen when I went to the full screen of the VM player if it did you you probably noticed that the Windows XP screen was a very small portion of my actual um, LCD monitor the reason for this is because the video drivers are not yet installed and therefore I cannot change the size of the resolution of the display we're going to download those video drivers and install those and um, that will alleviate that that issue okay so we're going to hit next here and we'll just go with typical and install this is installing this is not a uh, Microsoft update this is a VMware tool update as you can see Microsoft Windows updates just popped up so it's letting us know that um, there's updates ready for the XP that's now installed here as well and who knows it may even be the video driver that, that we need Okay, at this time I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again so I don't know how long this is going to take and I'll return as soon as the VMware tools are through installing okay welcome back as you can see the VMware tools are uh, completed and I'm going to click finish here okay and we need to restart the system for this to take effect so we're going to go ahead and click yes and watch our little windows xp machine shut down and restart whole while my laptop in Windows 7 still up and running but the virtual machine just actually restarted installed the updates and restarted without having to restart the computer itself this is the wonderful world of virtual machines
Okay, here we are back in Windows XP. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got a little bit better resolution. I'm going to go ahead and go to the full screen. Um, look at there. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, when I play back the video, I'll be able to see whether or not you're, you're actually able to see this entire screen. But uh, now, as you can see, um, hopefully you can see, we have a full screen now. Where before, all we had was this little square, um, just a little square area here of the Windows XP. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize it again just in case you cannot see the entire uh, screen. And we're going to check now on our control panel and see if we're still missing those video drivers. What do you know? How about that? Everything is installed. So now we have no explanation marks, no red marks. All the drivers are installed. So those were completed with the, the installation that just happened. So that's a wonderful thing. Um, here we have Windows updates. Folks, what I like to do here, instead of using this express install, is go to the custom. Once you click that custom and you hit next, it shows you what it, it is about to install. If you just hit the, the express, it installs and you have no idea what was just installed. This way, if something goes wrong, you can go back and remove the update without having to search and find out what it was that was installed. You already know that it was an update for Windows XP and even the KB number, which in this particular case happens to be 898461. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that. Um, I'm gonna stop the video at this point. The reason why I wanna stop the video at this point is that I wanna check the video, see if it is in fact seen full screen, when we come back, we're going to go over installing antivirus and other software on your new XP system. I'll be back shortly. I hope you're enjoying the video so far.